Travel back in time with a trip inside the Iowa's News Now vault. It looks like a flying saucer. Only, like the saucer in your cupboard, it rarely gets far from the surface. It's called a hovercraft. There's a propeller underneath the seat that throws air straight to the ground into a curtain of polyvinyl. This causes the vehicle and pilot to actually ride on a cushion of air. 15-year-old Bud Benton built this hovercraft as a 4-H project. It won first place this year at the Benton County Fair. Bud had to improve on some of the original designs in the plans that were given to him last year as a Christmas present. But even with modifications, acceleration and steering still seem to be a problem. The craft is designed to go forward at a speed of up to 35 miles per hour. Steering is supposed to be accomplished by just leaning in the direction you want to go. But even with a heavier pilot, this still seems to be a problem. Perhaps it's in the design. What you have to do mainly is just lean from side to side and it lets the air out from the curtain, but this new engine I have on it, it seems like it's too much pressure underneath and it um, keeps it from leaning, so that will have to be adjusted out and then we're going to put a rudder on the end to control the movement. Well, Bud got it off the ground in less than a year. So don't be surprised if the next time you see Bud Whetstone and his hovercraft, if it isn't zipping along at 35 miles per hour and in a straight line. Maybe even in an Iowa parade or two, if he can find a quieter muffler. This is two-country traveler Johnny Mann in Vinton.